So in an ISO is not just the drawing, it's also the information and the data. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to populate the border data directly from a line list inside of Plan 3D. So welcome back to a new video. Uh, this video here was inspired by a viewer that had a question on how do you populate the border data from a line list inside of Plan 3D. Uh, and so we're going to kind of show you how to do that. There's a couple ways you can do it. This is if you're using a line list. Uh, this is one of the ways. Uh, maybe in a different video I'll show you how I kind of like to do it. Uh, but you know, here we go. So the border data uh, inside of the uh, isometric uh, is almost as important as the bill of material and as the drawing itself. Uh, I'm all about uh, automating processes and procedures and anything that I can prevent from uh, prevent my designers from actually populating uh, manually typing anything in the happier I am. You know, so basically what you have to have is you have to start out with a, well, you don't have to start out with a border that has an attribute, but it's very helpful in my mind. Um, so this border here, this is my uh, cat crazy ISO border here. Um, you can see that we have these um items here that we want to fill out and they have attributes with them with you can see the little grips right there um, so what you'll do we're going to go ahead and close this drawing right here okay and close that first thing you need is a line list okay so a line list um, it doesn't have to be fancy it can be um, you know uh, on a different sheet a different um, but on this one here, we just have one sheet. So you can see we have our line number and then, you know, our normal, um, you know, line spec, line service, operating pressure, operating temp, so on and so forth. OK. And so you got to you got to have this formatted. Now, uh, one thing you got to remember is you cannot have uh, like a, an alt space in there. You can not have. Um, you know, special characters I found causes problems sometimes. Um, so try to keep it on one one level. You can wrap text. That's fine. That doesn't hurt anything. Uh, but don't do an alt. Uh, don't do um, a um, a merge. Uh, it has problems with merging too. Um, so anyway, first thing you need line list. You can see that we have a drawing number here, four inch PCWS. CS150 9999. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually get into the back end of the software. So, we got to go into our setup and we're going to go to setup. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this over. Okay. And we're going to go down to our ISO uh, style here. We're going to go to our title block. Okay, make sure you select the correct uh, style that you want to use if you have multiple styles. Selecting the right one is always helpful. Uh, we're going to go into setup title block. Okay, so here's our, our title block inside of Plan 3D. And you see this one title block attributes. Okay, so all the way up at the top, uh, title block attributes. So we're going to click on that guy right there. Okay. And so now it brings you into basically the block editor of this one. Okay. So you have two tabs now. Insert the title block attributes. First one that if you're populating from a line list, the first thing you have to do is go to LDT um, um, setup. And you have to path out to your... Um, your line list. Sorry, went blank there. Um, so find your line list. It does have to be a uh, 
XLSX format, it will not take any other format. So um, if you have macros running in the background of your ISA, I mean, uh, your line list, you might have to do an export out, um, which is not bad. A little script, a little VBA in there, you can export it out and it will export out to a different format uh, than, you know, the XLS or XL. LM, I think. Uh, anyway, the one that allows macros. So pick your line list. We're going to hit open. Okay. Um, okay. So you, you see that it's blank right here. It's like worksheet name. The reason that is, is when you're setting this up, you cannot have your ice, your line list open. So you're going to have to close it. Okay. So once you close it and we're going to go back out and we're going to click it again. And hit open now you can see which worksheet so if you got multiple worksheets um you know or mul you know multiple sheets um you can choose the one that you want okay uh header row now um on this our original um row starts out at eight okay and so we want to select column eight or row eight sorry row and then you know what column do you want to look at the line number column so whatever you name your your model okay um you know, whatever that line number is it's going to look for that particular number okay so we're going to say line number okay and then you can view it if you if you have any questions so we can bring this over you see line number and all the fields from that one. Now it's only going to show you the ones that actually have something inside a line number here. Um, if you don't have anything in a line number, it's not going to pull anything in. So um, you could do off of line sequence number. Okay. You can do it off of any one of these, as long as your line number in plan 3d matches. So we're going to say this one right here. Okay, we're going to close that. Okay, and then we're going to come over to add attributes. Okay, now we're going to come down here to map attributes. Okay, that will bring up this dialog box. And so what you'll do is you'll see right here is the block attributes. That's what's inside of this drawing. Um, and then your uh, 3D you know, plant 3D objects. Okay. So if we wanted to do, um, operating pressure, uh, there is right here, operating pressure, operating temp. Now you might see a couple of different ones in here. And what that is, is you've got uh, inside of your LDT file, your line list, and also what is inside the model itself, what rows you can do. So if we come over here, okay, so we're, we're looking for OP, you know, OPER press and temp. Okay. So let's come back over here. I'm going to map. So it's not this one. It is this one. So pressure. Temp, PNID number. So we're going to come down to our P. There we go. And let's see what else we want to fill out. Uh, yeah, service. That's all good. If we wanted to do service, we could. Uh, service medium. Um, installation type. So anyway, you can fill this information out here. Okay. Now, let's say you kind of side note here. If you have a border that does not have attributes in it, you can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and map those out. So if you choose a uh, LDT attributes, you can see all the ones that are in this line list. And so if we wanted to do uh, fluid service and we go uh, place, And wait for it to, to catch up here. There it is. So there's fluid service. So let me turn off my uh, 
There we go. And so you can pick any of these and it will add a uh, attribute directly from here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit, you know, close. We're going to pick that one and we're just going to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, instead of 1.25, we're going to go, you know, 0.25 and make it much bigger. Okay. So once you've got that, we're going to hit, you know, s s close. Uh, we want to save. Okay. We want to return to project setup. And we're going to hit save because you want to save what you're doing. Uh, then we're going to hit OK. Okay, so let's look at our line number real quick. Okay, so our line number tag uh, is 9999. So that won't work. Okay, so what we're going to have to do since our line number, our line number tag is 999, and we told it to go from the full line number, what we'll have to do is change that. So very easy. You just select everything. Come over here. Go to new. We're going to change the whole thing. We're going to hit assign. Okay. And now you can see that our line number is, you know, the full, full number. So now we're going to drop out an ISO. So we're going to hit quick ISO. Okay, we're going to pick this guy right here. Make sure we go to the correct style. And we're going to hit create. We're going to wait a couple of seconds for it to run the ISO. So now we have our ISO. So let's take a look at that real quick. So we're going to open up sheet one. And we're going to zoom into the title block and you can see that all the all the information has been populated inside the uh, border, including our uh, service that we had placed in there manually instead of using one of the already defined attributes of the border. So that's how you populate a border using a line list from Excel. And uh, there's other ways of doing it, like I said earlier, and we'll probably get into those later. Uh, but right now, this is the one that I wanted to show. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, keep letting me know what you guys want to see. And we'll try to get it on the channel as soon as we can. Until next time.